Okay, good morning and welcome to Ian Mitzion. Today I want to analyze Maisha Shani Perakei Mishnah Zion. It's an interesting machlokas. Um, you have Peros Bismanazet, right? You have Peros Bismanazet. Maisha Shani technically applies nowadays also. The problem is there's no Yerushalayim, there's no base on Migdash. Uh, technically, Paskin Kitcher, Rishon, or Kitcher, or Shaitav, or Kitcher, or Asad Lavo. There's no base on Migdash, there's no Yerushalayim technically, and therefore you can't go and eat Maisha Shani Yerushalayim. So you have to put it in Geniza, whatever you separate as Maisha Shani. So, what do you put in Geniza? The Beishamai says, technically, it says, it's hard to guess if you have to redeem it onto money and put the money in Geniza. He still says, what's the difference? What's the point of being potent onto money, whether it's fruits or it's money, you have to put it in Geniza. He says, you can leave it as fruits and put the fruits at Shaz or in Geniza. Now, what is the Machlokas over here? What are they arguing about? So, Beishamai says, uh, as I mentioned, my Yisra Shani is considered Mamun Gavoa. I mean, technically, Mishalo, the Shalo, the, the ownership over the physical fruits, belongs to Hashem. So Bishami suggests put it on money, where now it's now Bershuso, and therefore it's not such a, uh, we're not, you know, deserting the mitzvah of Hashem, it's Hashem's money, so if you put it on money, now the money belongs to you, the value belongs to you, so you, you're, you're putting in Geniza something that obviously you still have to bring into Shalim, it's still Maeser Shani, however it's less of a chilul, it's less of a disgrace to Hashem's money, because now it's in your Rishos, so with the money. But Yisrael says, no, even Maeser Shani, Mamon Gavoa, you put it in Geniza, there's no benefit in redeeming it on the Shavak So I like to suggest that the Machlok Stein Beisham Eitzilel is when you redeem it, right? So the start that gets to be Adecha, right? That's what it says. If you want to redeem Eitzilel, you, you redeem it onto money, you bring the money to your Shalim. When you redeem it, as I mentioned, the value belongs to you. But when I redeem it onto money, does the money actually considered Mamun Gavoa? Or is the money actually considered your money, Rishuso, it's in your money. The money becomes Shalo. You had Rishuso, you had the val- you had Bailas over the value, you redeem it onto money, now it becomes yours. According to Beisham, I know it, it, it actually becomes yours, right? And that's it's why it's not a disgrace to the Mangavoa. According to Beisham, it doesn't make a difference that even when you redeem it onto money, yes, you have the right the right to redeem it onto money because it's Rishuso. Once I redeem it onto money, the money itself is still considered Mama Gavoa. So therefore, it doesn't make a difference whether you bury it as payros or money, the, the, the money itself is still considered Mamun Gavoa, even if you redeem it, Beishamah would not hold like that. That's the way I understand the Machlokas. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.